welcome back now after subjecting your larvae to the third uh, to feeding to feeding in seven days you are going to get the prepopa and some little percentage of pupa now after feeding our larvae after seven days of our harvest this is our harvest this is our pre pupa this is the pre pupa that we get as you can see this is the parent stock pre pupa that we get from our harvest as you can see they are big larvae which give us big pre pupa these are the pre pupa these are the pre pupa and this is the little pupa that we have from our harvest just select view for this uh, video recording uh, this is the pre pupa the pre pupa that we get this is the pre pupa that we get after our harvest and this is the another pre pupa that's how you get your pre pupa when you feed your larvae for seven days these are our pre pupa you see they are very big pupa as an, as we used to say a big larvae will give us big pupa or pre pupa and which turn to fly and the better the egg production these are the pre pupa that are ready to be sent to our fly room that will be sent to our fly room now you can put this one inside your insectarium or your love cage or your fly room or you still turn them to pupa before you place them in your fly cage or your love cage or your fly room now this one can enter our love cage and we place our attractants our eggs as soon as the fly emerge we place our water and all other things which we will show you in this practical video but we want to turn this pre pupa to pupa before we send it to our love cage or our insectarium or our fly room and how are we going to do that we are going to cover all these bowls with net first after we cover them with net we will cover it with cloth too just to prevent them from sunlight and we place it where we have a slight warm environment maybe inside the room just to prevent them from source any source of light and within three to four days flies will emerge flies will emerge and as soon as our fly emerge we'll have prepared our attract attractants our love cage will be ready and we send them into our love net or the love cage but well, some people still say you can send this one to our love cage which is also true but for us we make sure we turn them to pupa before we send them to our love net just for us to prepare our attractant our love net and other things that should that should be inside our love net 
before we fly in March. Don't forget the summary. Don't forget the summary. Put them inside a very cool and warm environment where there is no light. If you want to turn them to pupa, that's what I'm explaining. There's no light. You cover them with nets to prevent them from flying even if they fly in March. Because, as you can see, this pupa now, the next three two or three days can he march to fly that's why we cover them with nets first and after we cover them with cloth to reduce their activities and as soon we see one or two or three flies we send them immediately to our love nets which is just another episode of this video thank you for following us in this our series of black soldier fly made easy welcome